African lions are losing more and more of their habitat, but their problem is not one of space alone. Because lions need lots of room to roam, only the biggest parks have enough space to support several prides with a variety of genes. Lions in smaller reserves have a very limited gene pool, making them much more susceptible to disease. We have a whole bunch of lion populations that are isolated within Southern Africa. So that uh, presents a problem to us because certain of these areas uh, cannot, can only hold a certain amount of lions. So we're not having mixing of genes. In the old days, there weren't the fences, there weren't the highways. So lion populations were able to roam over vast areas. And so you had gene mixing in those days. Those stagnating gene pools are fast becoming a major concern for conservationists. We think that we need to go in now to, to help the lion population. We don't want to have inbred lions here in the future because the more inbred they are, the bigger chance there is of some disease coming in and wiping out the majority of them. A simple solution would be to move male lions from one site to another, but lion behavior makes that difficult to do. Usually when you take lions away and you put them with a new population, the new population turn against them and mostly end up killing them. So the idea is to try something that seems straightforward, artificial insemination. Dr. Paul Bartels runs the Wildlife Breeding Resource Center in Pretoria, South Africa. He's discovered a new means of preserving genetic diversity through artificial insemination. The team collects viable sperm samples from unrelated lions in geographically distant populations. What we've done is dart the males and do a vasectomy. And of course that sterilizes him, but we at the same time able to bank down some uh, sperm from that particular male. And now what he's used for, because he's still king of the pride, is an indicator to us which of the females are coming into season so that we can then artificially inseminate them. One of the biggest challenges with this procedure is the fact that they are operating on wild animals. There are a number of difficulties in uh, doing artificial insemination with lions. Obviously the first is they bite and, and they, can, they can kill you. So you have to develop a technique where you can uh, work with them with the least amount of stress because you don't want stress on these animals. So we're uh, developing various techniques whereby we can dart the animal. These are very well designed drugs. They go to sleep, they wake up. We don't suspect they even wake up with much of a hangover feeling. Although the lion objects loudly to the dart, it is not painful. The lion park, we can develop the technology. It's relatively easy because it's a small confined area. We can find the lions a lot quicker, develop the techniques, and then transfer it to the wild. Blood and tissue samples are collected from each of the lions. The genetic material is frozen and stored for the future. We have sperm and various tissue banked away so that if there's a problem with the population, at least in the future, then we have an option where we can bring this back. We are very uh, confident that, that we're going to get some babies from artificial insemination. Um, and uh, it's a case of sticking with it and actually doing the project and getting the babies at the end of the day. <laughs>